I can relate. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to literally Tarantino's. Um, I'm here in Parkland, Florida at my parents' house. Tomorrow night we have a special event. We're cooking for some friends. Um, obviously, like I told you before, I do uh, the Tuscan experience anywhere that anybody needs me. I'm super excited. I'm super excited to be here at my family's house. They have, I haven't seen them since uh, Swainsboro. When we're in the Swainsboro location, they come up and help us at the uh, Swainsboro store. Let me pop this on and where is this here so I can see who's on. Hope everybody's having a great night. And uh, thank you guys so much for all the votes that are coming in. And you can vote daily for favorite chef. So please um, keep voting every day. Uh, we're super excited to be able to have uh, the opportunity to win $50,000 and be in Bon Appetit magazine. So that link that I have posted to the top of the page, if you will click on that and vote, and you can do a free vote once a day, every day. And that'll be a super help. The uh, first uh, list of votes, excuse me, the first round of voting stops on the 25th and then they take the top i believe it's 15 from each group and this is a nationwide thing and then it goes to uh to the next round of voting and they start narrowing it down for all the chefs throughout the nation so it's a really big deal i don't expect to win it but it's sure going to be fun to try and if we do win we are going to have an absolute blast and a huge party so super excited hey tilt how you doing larry what's going on how you doing libby william how are you candace how you doing all right, guys, so before we get started, we're going to make some bruschetta tonight. I'm going to teach you how to do a restaurant bruschetta just using your basic ingredients you can get at the grocery store. And I'm going to invite my dad. Actually, my mom's here watching. My dad's going to come on and uh, cook with me. So I'm super excited to be here and be able to have my parents take part of this with me. So uh, very special. So, Mr. Tarantino, Dad, would you like to come aboard and say hello to everybody? <laughs> Everybody Good meet evening. my dad. Pleasure to meet you. This is my boy. I got my white chef uniform. I got him to clean it. I couldn't bring it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. Well, he's, the, he's the big chef. I'm here. He's at my place. And we're going to have some fun. Do something simple. Yeah. We were going to do a big meal, but we've been eating all day. As you see what I posted online, we're at the pizzeria. I ate a ton of pizza. Then we went and had ice cream. So we're just going to do something simple, nice like bruschetta and share that with you. Um, but before I get, to, uh, get started, I know that this video will be on Facebook forever and ever and ever. And I just want to say thank you to my mom and dad for being a huge part of my life and helping me and believing in me for everything that I'm doing. And um, my whole life I've been trying so hard because my dad and my mom are very successful. They've done fantastic. And they kept pushing me, pushing me. Joe, and this is another reason why I don't quit because of my parents. And as you can see, they live in a big, beautiful home because they didn't have get any help from any. They kept pushing and pushing and pushing. And uh, my goal is to be able to do the same thing that my parents have done through hard work. And um, I'm super proud of them and I love them. And I'm so glad to be able to share this with them and share the success. And, and I love them very much. And I thank you for pushing me and beating me up. This guy used to make me cry at work. I stand there watching him. We'd be doing a plumbing job, and as you can see, my father's a contractor. He doesn't put a cap on no, the oil, he puts a screw. screw in it. It's galvanized, <laughs> it won't rust. <laughs> but we, we'd be doing plumbing, I want to do the plumbing. I stand there, I, I did what he told me to do. I go over, and uh, I'm standing there leaning against the thing. I'll never forget this. I think this is the day he fired me the first time. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaning up, I'm 13 years old, I'm leaning against the wall. He looks up at me, he goes, What are you doing? Yeah. With animal eyes, not this little sweet thing I he's mean, doing now. There's a 90 million things he could do. He's just looking I'm at trying him. to learn how to saw a pipe. I'm watching him. He goes, don't just stand there looking at me like I'm not going to say what he said. But don't stand there looking at me. Do something like that. What do you want me to do? I did what, I, what you told me to do. Move. Do something. Do I'm something. paying you. Don't Wash you windows. windows. Change your light bulb. <laughs> so it hurt me then, but it's made me a stronger person today. And I'm very grateful for all the lessons that I've received. So let's get started with this. Well, we also had a lot of fun. We went everywhere. We did everything. We had a lot of fun when they were kids. I took them everywhere. Trisha, how you doing? Tommy, Derek. Oh, thank you. They, Trisha Wilson, she's one of our supporters. She subscribed to the page. She just said what a beautiful kitchen you guys have. Oh, thank you. Brian, how you doing? Virginia? Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is my first time being in this house. They just moved here a year ago. I just built this house. Now tell us, before we get started, tell us a little bit about you guys. I know mom won't come on the screen. Yeah. Been married 38 years, second time being married. Best woman in the world. 
and uh, she took care of me, and I took care of her. We take care of each other. Remember, you have trouble, you don't talk to each other, nothing's going to work. You got to talk all the time. So she doesn't talk to me forever. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, the camera's there. Camera's there. Huh? That's a monitor. I'm not a good. I'm looking at the monitor. <laughs> so tell them what you did for a living. Oh, I was a contractor. I mastered seven trades. I did a lot of restoration, renovation on the brownstones in Boston, Beacon Hill. If anybody's familiar with Boston, you know what that's like. It's a crazy place in Back Bay. And uh, when the kids were growing up, I took them with me. First son, my first son, Joey. I took him with me on jobs, trying to get him started on a few things. He said, Daddy, I'm going to teach you how to plaster. I did a lot of different things. Oh, here we go. He goes, sure, I, I'll teach you. So I took him way into the cellar where there was nobody. Because I know he's going to do a terrible job the first time. This is real plaster, not compound. I used to teach that. But <laughs> real plastering, it was very difficult to do. It's an art. He was over there. He's doing the plaster. He, lo and behold, he did it. He, he put it on. I says, he's got my blood. I said, he's finally got my blood. He's doing a decent job putting it on there. I have to let him start doing closets. He did the first time, fantastic. So he started like that, but there was a lot of different things that I was trying to drum in their head. You need to lower, learn a lot of traits. Like he knows a lot about cooking and everything. He got, he got everything down. Like I'm in the trade industry, it still is the trade industry, but it's artistic and creative. What he does. And mom? Oh, yeah. mom? What? Mom, what's your career background? <laughs> stockbroker. Stockbroker. She won't no, come on the camera. Stock oh, stockbrokerage yeah. firm. Yeah. Yeah. And she so loves to correct me. You think you guys are bad at correcting me how I spell and everything I put online? <laughs> Good God Almighty. I used to get yelled at continuously. There is no such word as eight. Stop saying eight. I'll never forget about it. You should get so mad at us. Yeah, a lot of fun. All right, so I guess we should get to cooking. These guys probably want to learn how to make bruschetta. Okay. All right, Michael Angeletti, how you doing, buddy? Victor. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut up some bread. I have a half for you and a half for me. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut it. Quarter slices? Yeah, just like that. Not with that knife. It's going to squish it. Okay. I'm going to cut mine, then you cut yours. See, you brought a whole thing of ice. Daddy, use one of your knives. You know, he's got a whole, he brought us whole store of knives. He says, I bought mine because I did my favorite knives. I said, why didn't you use one of your knives? He's got 20 million in the bag. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, just yeah. like this, okay? Okay. <laughs> What's up, Till? He's in my professional stuff. What's up, Becca? How are you? You know, you think this Meg. is easy. See how I do it? I layer it. I do it professionally. Hey, he thinks his, he thinks his daddy, his first railroad ride. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to steal anybody else's thing. Put it my own. Oh, you're doing beautiful. That's good. Okay. And we don't need this. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that pan right there. Okay. All right. Hmm? Now, but I become the worker, and he's the boss. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. A beautiful it's thing. It's not right. It's really not right. But I'll have to do it. Right, just stand there and hold that, please. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> we, gonna, could, we, could, a, <laughs> we could be a comedy show, too, you know. A little bit of olive oil you want to put on the pan. You're going to brush it around. Okay. Take this. Please stop moving. Okay. I'll listen to him. All right, so you're going to put that down. This, over, this way, there's oil on both sides. Yeah. We want All we're doing is just trying to brown the bread. That's it. Grab any sub roll. Just start off with a sub roll. Cut it like we did, quarter inch slices. Mm -hmm. so, we actually made a little bit too many of these, yeah. We did? Well, it's a little snack. Alright, and then what we're gonna do a little oil on the top. You get any salt and pepper? Yes, I got it right here for you. See? How are we then we're just gonna season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. So all you gotta do is tell me once, and I get it done. See? Salt, yeah. pepper, done. See? And he forgets I was 13 and 12 when I was working with him. <laughs> I thought it was going to work like a 30 year old. A <laughs> little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Mm -hmm. And we just bought all this stuff at the local grocery store. That's it. Alright, and then what we're going to do is going to set this here. It's only going to take a few minutes. We're going to put these in the oven to brown in just a minute. We're going to set that here out of the way. Now we're going to take our tomatoes. Okay. We're going to take our tomato. We don't need that anymore. You want this? No, we don't need that anymore. We're done with that knife. 
So what we want to do is we want to cut our tomato like this. What size? Eight inch or quarter inch? Quarter inch is fine. I got bread on mine. Give me a bread plate. <laughs> See what happens? You think I'm nobody, huh? I can do this. Can we, can we do a little more work and a less talking over here? <laughs> Quarter slices, you said? This garlic over here. Okay. Yeah, this is fine, a dinner. Okay, it's a real thing. Well, you can know. core your tomato too if you want to, or you can just cut around your tomato, which is what I usually do because this uh, is just together. You can become a tomato. Whatever you want to be. <laughs> Good look, almighty. <laughs> So we're about two tomato, you're gonna use about well, three good sized tomato, then you're gonna to wanna to get about a, uh, you're gonna use a half a red onion and you wanna have the same amount of garlic as you do red onion. You're gonna do a fine chop on the uh, red onion, same thing with the garlic, we're gonna mix this all together with a little bit of oil, some oregano, some salt and pepper. You'll see as we put this together, it's a great, great dish. Everybody loves the bruschetta. All right, Joe, I'm ready, my friend. Is it okay, son? Yeah. It's all right with you. Yeah, now what you can do is just cut through these like this. Okay. Oh, you want me to do it? Okay. What we're doing is we're doing a, 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 like a quarter inch dice. Mine's falling apart. We take this onion out of here. We can take this fresh basil out of here. That's all right. And you could use any kind of tomato you want. You want to use Roma tomato, use Roma, um, beef tomatoes. I usually like to get whatever's on sale, of course, of course without get, jeopardizing the quality. Yeah, he gives me the small board. Look at my mess over here. He gets the professional board, but he gives me this baby board. He but, wants to make me look good. <laughs> you think this is easy? It's not easy. I would have, I would have. <laughs> look at this board, it's a disgrace. I would have switched boards. Now you tell me. Now see, if I would have done that many years ago, you would have fired me for that. No, I would have. You would have said, use your head. I would have taken you home. You would have said, use your head. I said, go home to your mama. I said, go, go ahead. Home to your mama. <laughs> you think it's easy? It's not. Obviously, I'm not in Statesboro tonight. Um, actually, 40, what are we, 40 miles away from Miami. We're in Parkland, Florida. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're in the center of everything. Really nice town. It's beautiful here. The Does weather is here? tremendous. Fantastic. And then we're doing a private party tomorrow night, right? Yeah, yeah people I got coming people over. coming over. You'll be tomorrow at my house. Same, same station, same time, same station. Huh? I'm same not leaving the time. house. I will be here tonight. Tomorrow? Oh, We're coming yeah. back Monday. Yeah. So I'll be ready for business on Tuesday, of uh, course. I'm all done after tonight. He's leaving tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he can stay as long as he wants. It's not a big deal. How come, how come you're still cutting tomatoes over here? I just did my job. You almost got a quarter tomato right there. Well, I got no room in my thing. Well, how am I supposed to? <laughs> when you got a gigantic thing. Yes. <laughs> See, he wants to make me look bad. Here, we'll dump this in here? Yeah. Okay. Oh my what lord, what did you do? Oh, I forgot this part. See, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'm better at cutting wood. <laughs> you think this is, is that easy? how you measure? Is that how you measure? Okay, now you're all set. Yeah. Let me give you some more tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you get to the end like this, how do you get it? Right, 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 right. When sure. it gets that thin, yeah. I'll take it and slide across this way, okay. like that. Okay. And then I'll take and cut around this part here because I'm not going to waste anything. See that? I do want some. I would have thrown that tomato up. Just like that, and then we're See? done with this. Good. Now we still caught over the fire? Yep, you want it? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay, you want me to hold it in? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sella. Did I say that right, Sella? Do I? You, you have another we, nice comment on your kitchen, by the way. Thank you. Do you think we make a good combination, father and son? Let me know, please. If you guys have any questions uh, for my parents, feel free to ask if you want to get to know me a little bit better. God help us all. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on. This is labor. This is productivity. How long is it going to be? Today. 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 He's, he's, he's getting even. He's getting even. And cut, tuck the fingers in. What are you doing? I am tucking them. They come from tucker. 
Tucker Island. You ever heard of Tucker Island? See, you get guards on saws. We don't have guards. We use our knuckles as guards. See? So we don't cut ourselves. I think this is easy. Listen, if I can do this, anybody can do this. Oh, and let me tell you, he's a fantastic cook. You should see the, the stuff he grows. It's amazing. I try. I'm not like my son, but I can cook. What I do cook, I cook very, very well. It's just the idea, get out there and try it because anybody can cook. If you, if you just take the time and watch his videos because he knows what he's doing. Forget about it. Who said that? So forget about it. Yeah, forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> okay. All right, you ready to cut this garlic? All right, so we got our tomato. Remember, the ingredients to this are simple. Yeah. You've got your tomato, red onion, fresh basil, Oregano, you're going to use a balsamic glaze that you can buy or you can make it yourself. If you want to learn how to make it, just ask me. I'll give you the recipe to do so. Some salt and pepper, a little bit of mutt. It's not necessary, but it's something that I like to add to it. Your bread, fresh garlic. It's going to be mixed together with some oil. Beautiful. And those of you that have uh, eaten with me already know what this tastes like. So you'll be able to make the same thing at home just by going to any store. Buy low, Walmart, whatever the grocery stores you have locally by you. All right, so we're going to do our garlic. Actually, let's do the red onion right now. And I tell you, it's very easy when you have a master chef beside you. You know, he's <laughs> cooking with you because he tells you what to cook. But you can do this. I never, I never knew how to cook, but it come natural for him. But I had to learn how to cook Italian or any other dish. I was like, oh. Is that yours? Okay, do you want me to do it? We're gonna cut it. With the skin? Oh, you took the skin off. Yeah, I did it for you already. Okay, thank you. I didn't want you to mess it up. I appreciate it. About time you did something good. Very, 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 very close to my family. I'm a diehard family person. As a matter of fact, I'm such a family person that when I was a kid, I used to get very jealous when my dad used to teach other kids. Oh, yeah. Remember about what oh. I did? I got grounded forever. I had a big shop at my house in the basement. And then sometimes I would take yes, a bunch of take kids the down there and uh, I would teach them how to use tools, especially a wood lathe. And my son loved using the wood lathe. So I would make like little candle holders and stuff for kids, and I would teach him how to use the lathe. And my son was upstairs, and he got, I couldn't find it. I said, where's Joey? Come to find out, I'm looking around, I see this kid in the cellar window. You know the little cellar windows in, in New England, they have the, we have a basement and cellar windows. He's there. No, tell him why first, why I was mad. Because I was teaching the kids. No, you had someone else help you instead of picking me. Right. And right. I got mad. You got a big baby, a little baby. He started picking the glass, the putty out of the windows, taking out my windows. <laughs> Every single window. <laughs> I could not believe he did that. I said, I can't go anywhere without having him up my butt. I got some serious attention then, let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. That's what they do when they were children, you know? They want to be with daddy 24-7. <laughs> you're going to take your knife, okay. and you're going to slide it halfway through the onion. Oh, halfway through. Okay. Where'd you well, start? not halfway, about three quarters, till it's almost all the way through, without cutting yourself. Okay. Alright? Okay. Yeah. Just about three quarters. Okay. What do you want to do now? Can you put it through? Alright, now we're going to go, and we're going to take, not all the way through the onion, almost all the way to the end, and put slices, okay? Okay, how far apart? Quarter inch? Everything's a quarter inch with you. I love quarter inch. Quarter everything. Inch. Do you know how many times you said quarter inch? Because no, this is an eighth inch. How about that? Basic woodworking, everything's almost quarter inch. <laughs> Some stuff, not everything. Draw cuts when you do dado cuts, quarter inch. So it should look like this. This is the fastest way to dice, normally the fastest way to dice an onion. Now, this is the first time I did this. Thank you, Susan. Oh, Susan, I told you, I'm, I'm actually in, uh, I'm right by you now. By the way, guys, Susan that just uh, commented on this, she's the one from Solar Seasoning, mm -hmm. uh, who sent me the seasoning. Remember oh, I did the, uh, the I saw that. that was yeah, we're right, we're right by you. We're actually doing a dinner t uh, tomorrow night out here. And thank you so much for that seasoning. You got me talking to the wrong thing now, too. <laughs> I'm over here looking to the... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I need to be looking here, not down there. You think it's easy? What? <laughs> Tell us to look up, he's looking down. Because you were looking down first. Yeah. Wait. All right, ready? Then we're gonna take it and we're gonna hold this together. Yeah. And we're gonna go down and see how it makes all the yeah. dice, onions, bada bing. Oh, he goes. What a freaking bing. How about that? 
And then if it falls apart on you like it just did me, you adapt and overcome, and you still die to the family. When you're like me, you can do it right to the end. Where did I mess that up? Well, you did great. You did better than me. Yeah, I'm not fall around. I'm going to get this. But you still got little, the little, it's beautiful. It's all cut up nicely. Mm -hmm. Well, nice and small. Go ahead, put it in there. Why are you trying to do more? How come you do more? Because I made a mistake. Oh, you made a mistake. Thanks for making me tell everybody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is the final product. Alright, now we're going to put the chocolate in the middle. Now we're going to put the chocolate in the middle. Now we're going to put the chocolate in the middle. Now we're going to put the chocolate in the middle. Now we're going to put the chocolate in the middle. Now we're going to put the chocolate in the middle. Now we're going to put the you can cut up an onion, do anything you want. Anybody can cook. That's, that's don't absolutely Don't be afraid true. of it. You're going to screw up once in a while. Don't be afraid of it. I screwed up a number of times, especially cooking steaks. Oh, ribeyes, tenderloins. And I got it down and I mastered that. So, don't be afraid. Oh, thank you, Susan. They love your kitchen. They said you're very, Susan you said you're very welcome. What about the daddy? Kitchen. What about the daddy? I get no comments about the daddy. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Stella. She said, nice to see men in the kitchen cooking. My family was traditional and had nothing but women in the kitchen. Yeah, see? We're special. That's it. <laughs> we were saved. We were saved. <laughs> <laughs> Pellegrino, see? I don't drink. All right, what are we doing now? Garlic. Now we need the same amount of garlic as onion. You want a one-to-one -one ratio for garlic and onion. No. You ready to do the garlic? Now he's going to embarrass me now. See, because he knows I can't do what he does. What are you he talking about? He chops it like a the bionic I'm man. Gonna, I'm going I'm to He chops it like no, a bionic man. Yeah. Is that how you do it? Is that how you do it? Let me show how you do it. Oh, you're doing me I'm You gotta use your knuckle as a guy, Dad. No, let me tell you something. Look, 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 look. look. It's alright, boy. Look, it's how slow I am. <laughs> That's it. He's beating the garlic up. <laughs> Beat the garlic this up. This is what Beat you don't do. Alright? Takes practice to do what he does. And he doesn't look sometimes and he pisses me off. Kiss. Yeah. Yeah. It can be two things. Well, how many times did you do already? Yeah, I'm on two. And then when you're doing bruschetta, you want it chopped up really good, about the same size as the onion or smaller. Yeah, okay. How many times do you want to make that? Now, let me tell you, the best way to do this is in a food processor. I do have you, you throw your cloves and garlic in there. Zip it up. I mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a small food process. That's the best way to do Why it. Why do we do you... this like a donkey? Because this, <laughs> huh? You know, <laughs> embarrassing. This, this is the fun way. Yeah, no, it's the it, fun it, way. It's making me feel like a tomato. See this now? You know what I can't do that. Mom, you need to come over here. He said no. <laughs> you know what it is? She always wanted to be an actress. Oh God, here she we go. Wanted, <laughs> Use the secret. <laughs> oh, you're dead. When I met my wife, she looked exactly like Elizabeth Taylor. And I said, boy, that's all I needed, right? I said, I'm going to marry a movie star. When I met her, I said, little bit Elizabeth, come out for the. <laughs> I became Richard and I married her within six months. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why she didn't want to be in the camp because she gets embarrassed. <laughs> we got our garlic. You got over there yet? How many That's you perfect. Need? We need. How many do you need? That's that one there, we're good. Good. And we're good. Okay. You put it in there. See? I did that professionally. See, one sweep, that's what you do when you get good. 
Yeah, see? Make sure the bottom's all up. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some oregano. About a tablespoon and a half of oregano. Okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to now cut up some fresh basil. Go ahead. You're fast. What do you mean, go ahead? What? No. No, there's no go ahead. We're a team. Oh, we're a team. We're a team. Okay. And what I like to do with this yeah. is to roll it up. Yeah. Roll it up tight, and we're gonna put, we're gonna make it really thin. It's called julienne cut. Julienne slices, nice, real thin. You can cut it up however you want. Hey, I like to do mine julienne be better, style. Would it be better if you wrap this in paper first? <laughs> oh my God. Huh? You're rolling it, right? You're rolling it. Right. You're right. <laughs> oh my God. You did. Wait a minute. Dad, what is wrong with you? Get Cut. College days. Oh God, Mom. What? <laughs> no, we just did not. It's college days. What? This is had a flashback. Oh Lord Jesus, help what me. Are we do? What? <laughs> you just did not say that. You want to roll it. You want to roll it. Oh, it smells good. I roll it. Get out of here. It smells fantastic. Wait. Wait, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Alright, so anyway, we're not we're gonna forget about all that. We're gonna go right into the to the Julian, cut this into strips. Nice thin strips, super thin. Super, like how do you tell me? 60 th okay. okay, relax. Okay. <laughs> hate, hate to cut a green so Ooh. thin. Anthony Mosca, how you doing? I can't help it, I'm spontaneous. See how nice and thin it does look like that. Yeah, let's get in there. No. Give it a break over here. Get that fresh basil in there. This is great what during the that? summer. Oh, it's a great that? appetizer. Okay, you cut this that out. and caprese salad. We'll do that one next time. Actually, we're doing caprese salad tomorrow night. We're gonna have some of this. We're going to do a few pieces of this tonight. We're saving the rest for our dinner party tomorrow. Um, the caprese salad is a great dish. Another this. And it's so simple. It's almost like a, uh, an Italian version of pico di cacao. It's just great, especially on the crostinis. We gotta make that garlic sauce tomorrow too. We gotta make our fresh pasta. Is this good enough here? How's that? Now you're yelling all that yellow. Yeah, right in here. Throw all it in there. Yellow. All right, so we got everything chopped up that we need. We're, we're done. We're done with the chopping. All right, now we need to add our uh, olive oil. Where's the screw? My galvanized screw. Yeah, this is really dangerous. That's to okay. Have food production area. <laughs> Just get see your food, you're gonna be really upset. Well, you gotta be very careful. If you don't like right. somebody, you just throw it in there. Oh. <laughs> Put about two tablespoons of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, preferably, in your uh, mix. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. It's a little bit. The pepper in there. You have a spoon. What, what spoon? kind of spoon? Yeah, I got everything. What do you want? Well, you guys gotta ask nicely. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start mixing this up. Okay. I feel like I'm forgetting something. You got me all messed up after that comment. <laughs> are we mad? Are we mad? <laughs> so where's everybody watching from? What do you think about my crazy family? <laughs> This smells so good. It smells delicious. It's not that. Nancy, come over here and smell it. Mama. Come on. Stop bring She's it She's behind the camera. No, I'm gonna bring it. I ain't bringing the camera. I've got the, I got yeah. the stuff over okay, here. Smell it. Mm. Smell good. It smells good. It smells delicious. You think it's nice, Dad? No. What? Now we're gonna. Now we're gonna toast this. Here, let me put this in. Let me get you on there. To putting that in the oven. Okay. Go ahead. You want to put, put this in, the in oven. first? Just like that in the oven. Okay. Since I don't... Like what? You want the handle out this way? Whatever you want to do. Okay. I'm, I'm Whatever gonna... mom says, she's the boss. Not really. Oh. <laughs> That's why I'm behind the camp. She won't come behind me so I can say anything I want. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So now we're done. The only thing we need out is just some mozzarella cheese that we're going to take and we're going to... Put this over the bruschetta once it's done. What we're doing is we're toasting the crostinis now 
And then when it comes out, once they get a nice golden color to them, we're gonna add our bruschetta mix to the top of them, put it back in, just a light melt on the mozzarella. We're gonna put them on a platter. What's the matter? What do you want? Takes it out of the oven. Oh, something to set it on? Yeah. Well, we're done with all this now. Oh, thank you so much, Anthony. I appreciate that. You guys need to come visit me uh, one day again. Or you never know, I may end up doing a, a dinner out there for you guys uh, here soon. Put the hot thing right on. Put it on there? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to have to back that up. Actually, we're done with all this stuff. Okay, we'll put it in the sink. Put this garlic in here with the basil because we're going to use that for crazy salad tomorrow. Okay. Save that. Good. Okay, that's that's done. We're done with this oil. So what's everybody doing this evening? What are you guys planning on doing tomorrow? We'll be all, we'll be live tomorrow night um, when I'm hosting this dinner party. Really excited. I have some cool people to meet. Actually, a chef is yeah. coming to eat here tomorrow night. He, isn't he? he had a big chef business in uh, New York. He had a catering business. He had 140 people working for him. He did very well. So that, is, that should be fun having him try the food tomorrow night. It's going to be great. This goes in here. Yes. I think you got to screw on the top of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> the health department would kill me. What? <laughs> it's galvanized. It's okay. Yeah. What? <laughs> We're done with this. We're done with this. It's not going to rust because oil. How's it going to rest? It's because it, be, it becomes a uh, physical contaminant. Because really? it can fall into some, it can end up in something. I guess you can't eat in my house anymore. What? <laughs> huh? Let me tell you, people kill themselves eating in my house, and they love the squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> they love the squirrel. Oh. Look, look. What is wrong with that squirrel? Nothing. Ma. <laughs> Oh Lord have mercy. Oh no, wait, is that the wrong having a galvanized screw? Matter of fact, matter of fact. Ah, <laughs> well you can see I'm not shy in the camera. What? <laughs> Are you done with my knife? My knife. But I'm taking that knife. No you're not. This is the favorite. This is my done favorite. with that? No. We're done with the seasoning. What you do with the uh, sponge? Well. We just need some, uh, get a small set of tongs to put the, uh, yes, put the on top of the uh, pastis. Right here, look, look. Right here. What's that? In here? The dishwasher? In the drawer. The drawer. Oh, good lord. I got all kinds. What in the world? You guys, you guys should see us at this drawer. Now this is a good set of tongs. These are, these are, I buy a tool of everything. She said that all my life. <laughs> I had two wives, I got two sons. Everything comes in tools. Where are you gonna go? That's the way it is. You think it's easy? Carol, how are you? Michael Mendez, how you doing, buddy? I just moved. I'll be hooking up that uh, Xbox here shortly. Hopefully, I gotta go purchase another one. Uh, the one I was using was at a friend's house I was staying at. We just moved into our house, so I'll be online soon to play with you guys here shortly. My son Joey's on there too. You gonna get on there and play with us too? I, I'll put you on I gotta, there. I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I lost all, I'm gonna show him how to do it over again. That's the I new system. Buy another one. I used to play all the time with them. My I got up to go to work, I didn't know it was three in the morning. <laughs> I used to play I, Xbox all the time. Call of Duty. Yeah. It's you gotta take the tour, it's great. You never get any sleep. Two hours seems like two minutes. Well, if you play, you know what I'm talking about. Almost ready, we're just waiting for those to get brown. About another minute and a half, they'll all be brown. Now, I'm gonna show you a quick way my son taught me how to dry a knife. You put it like this, you put it over, and you pull it. So you don't get cut. Simple, safe. Why don't we do it like this? What? That was, that was great, by the way. Why don't we do it like this? Clean our knives. Because it can cut you. How? How? Especially garlic. Especially oh, yeah. when you're working with garlic. See how sticky oh, that is. Oh, yeah. Garlic. That looks sticky. If the, if the cloth sticks to the knife, That's it. and your fingers keep going, it runs across the blade, you cut yourself. Or if someone walks by you, hits your arm, you cut yourself. That's why it's always important to have it flat and clean your knives like this, and dry them like that. Blade away, of course. See? Super, super critical. 
See, these are my knives, my special knives. Okay? Now I'm gonna show you his. He said, Daddy, use your knives. Okay? What? I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Which one is that? It's like a, if he went into a knife store, I can't even pick it up, it's so heavy. Look, these are his knives. He said, can I borrow the knives in here? I said, can I use one of your knives? He said, no, that he used them I did not tell him to use his own. He's proud of his little knives that he has over there. Think it's easy? Wait. <laughs> Why is this taking so long over here? What? You got a knife, babe? Why are they? I thought you broiled them, no? Okay, that's good enough. Just that with crisp up. Oh, are they? Yeah. Normally I use my garlic sauce on here. Mom's pointing at the thing to make sure she's about to cut my head off if I lay this in the wrong spot. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, so we got a little bit of a, I don't know, can these guys see this? Can see How do you right see now? it on the TV? Oh, I didn't see right that. Right there. Okay, okay. make sure that's they can good. see it. Yep, they can see it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now what you want to do is take a little bit of this mix, and you want to put a little bit on each one of these pristines. It smells fantastic, let me tell you. I would just eat this with a spoon. That's how it smells so good. Now tomorrow, I'll be brushing these down with the garlic sauce, and I'll have a little bit more flavor. Here we go. Why, why I gotta work? You gotta work too. You were doing you very I didn't well have to do the other half. You were very good doing all what? your wrong. <laughs> I think I pull around over here. You need a little bit more on this one. Yeah, well, you're cheap over there. You're afraid to, you know, spread the merchandise. Oh, good Lord almighty. Yeah, you gotta do it, you know, be cheap. It's our full cost. Yeah, well, I like to spend. My name is Joey Spend. What? <laughs> Less is more. Hmm? Pull around. Yeah. Yeah. Even my wife. Right, okay, ahead. I'm in the go camera ahead. now. Go okay? ahead. It's, it's your show. It's my show right it's now. It's your show. Okay. Now I'm doing this. Think it's easy? It's falling all over the place. It's not saying two words. <laughs> but it's fun dog. You gotta learn to cook. You gotta get in. You got this one has nothing on the poor thing itself. She always crying all by itself. Can <laughs> we fix this one too? Yeah, look, it's terrible. The poor thing. Well, it looks like a giant pizza now instead of separate little pristinis. They're going to be separate. Watch how pretty they look. Hey, let's not get cheap. Let's not get cheap. Oh, well, I just spilled something on the floor. I hope not, because I, I did. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of mozzarella over the top. Let me grab this. Then we're going to put this back in the oven just to get the cheese to melt just a little bit. It's going to crisp up just a little bit more, and then we're going to pull it out. We're gonna put it on the plate, drizzle a little balsamic reduction, be finished, it's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> Y'all yeah, didn't see this that. <laughs> That's why there's no cuts and breaks. <laughs> he just dropped it on my beautiful floor. What? <laughs> he dropped the whole thing, and my wife, <laughs> my wife just got out the hatch. <laughs> 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 It's like, this, this is what happens. Oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, I think that skates. Boom, that went fine. I got it. That happens. I'm glad it was him instead of me. What? <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I got tomato stuck in my finger. Oh, that's in the sink. Put your finger in the sink. Alright. Alright, those are done. We'll carefully what? take these out of the oven. <laughs> no, carefully. Boom! That sucker that was, was gone. <laughs> we didn't need that extra calorie on that. Very carefully. That. All right, so now we need that platter. The platter. The platter. Oh, okay. oh, that's pretty. We got one. I like that. That's pretty. Thank you, Mike. Come in the picture. Come on. Put one more on there. 
Now set them like that. You set them however you want. Get whatever size platter you want. Just make it look beautiful. Wow. And we're just going to add the reduction to the top and we're done. And then you have your bruschetta. Yes, this was the long version of how to make bruschetta, but it was fantastic and a lot of fun. But that's what it should look like, Dad. You gonna try this? Honey? You gonna try this? Yes, yes. Mom, you ready to try this? Look how pretty that looks, huh? Isn't that nice? And then you can put a little bit of Romano cheese over the top, too, if you want to add a, add a little extra flavor. Now, can I ask you a question? What? How come I see afterwards? The see what? No, I just because there's a little. <laughs> that's why we're not. I'm just using this one so I can see what everybody's saying to us. Oh. Because okay. there's people that have commented. Uh, wow. A lot of the followers, they people that follow the page, mm -hmm. uh, comment on there. You give me your honest opinion, your honest truth. Mommy, you want to try one with your paper plates? In here. If you don't make <laughs> this, if you don't make this simple little Where are thing, you? over here. You don't make this simple little, this, uh, to me, I think it's a dessert. It's fantastic. Try that one. Mm. You like it? Mm. That is delicious. It's very good. Oh my God. Isn't it great? Mm. See how simple that was? Fresh we had fun. We had fun. You don't have to cut everything perfect. Normally that takes about 10 minutes. It's so tasty. A lot of flavor, fresh garlic. And it's crazy how you can eat the garlic like that and it doesn't burn your mouth. You know how raw right. garlic is very pleasant. Yeah. And it works out beautifully. Mm. This is delicious. That's the first time I've seen it made it, actually. Mm. But really? I, yeah, because I, I, I don't think I've ever seen you in the kitchen making it. But this is outstanding. I can have two pieces now. You get a lot what more a, too. a nice taste. This is what we're gonna make tomorrow night. We'll use the rest of this tomorrow yeah. night. Yeah. For the dinner party, and then we'll use the, do the caprese salad and mm -hmm. a bunch of other stuff. You need to find out if they like mussels. We'll do some mussels for them. We can either do it on a white wine sauce, or we can do some clams, like we need clams tomorrow night. Put these on here. That is good. Honey? Mm -hmm. A little more. Hey, mama. Mom likes to have stuff for her. Oh, she does. <laughs> She's smiling. She's happy. I think I got away with dropping on the floor now. I know what's so amazing. When I first met her, she hanged with all the tags. Okay? Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> I asked her, Were oh, you Italian? I couldn't tell. She had blue eyes, dark hair. Because some Italians like from Sicily, like real uh, blonde and blue eyes. And, and I think part of Naples, too. I'm not sure if it's Naples or Naples. No, they don't. Well, anyway, after a period of time, I had to ask her. You know, like, I don't want to be embarrassed. I said, what nationality are you? She says, she's Scott and Armenian. It blew me away. She eats all the Italian food. She hung with all the Italians. So it told me one thing. She's definitely Italian. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, it's crazy. So I married her instantly. <laughs> Well guys, thank you so much for uh, joining in and watching a uh, little bit of family time, getting in personal yeah. with us and seeing what we're all about as a family. And this is what we do, believe it or not. We enjoy great food and- And uh, cheers to you, your audience here. Mm -hmm. uh, you're lovely and uh, he's gonna do great, I can feel it. Thank you guys so much. Please click on that link and vote. You can vote every day. You get one free vote a day. It'll be a huge help. You guys any, got any questions about the bruschetta? Please let me know, inbox me. This will be on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all that other good stuff. Um, the easy how to make bruschetta. If you guys wanna see anything else, please let me know. I'll be glad to make it for you. Tomorrow we're gonna have some fun again tonight. We're gonna have company over. I'm doing a private dinner party, but we're gonna do it live. So those of you that are interested in doing a dinner party with us, you'll be able to see exactly what we do and how we do it. So this way, if you will, um, you'll have a great understanding of what's going on so you can build focus in the future for your own private dinner party anywhere in the world you want. So guys, thank you so much for watching. 
Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Please share it. Leave a comment. We love you. God bless. And we'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you so much from Tarantino's in South Florida, Parkland, Florida, correct? Thank you so much. All right. Love you, mom and dad. Dad, you did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for embarrassing the hell out of me, too. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Guys, you have a great night. I love you all. Enjoy your night.